Now let us see the next question. <coughs> Here, what did they give us? I mean, ionic equilibrium basically. What would be the pH of a solution obtained by mixing 5 grams of acetic acid and 7.5 grams of sodium acetate? And making the volume equal to 500 ml this it okay they've given us ka and they've given us pka value both the values so uh, they i need this is your 2013 online exam question question and they've given us four options now i, I have to find what should be the what would be the ph of the solution right so <clears throat> to solve such questions first important thing you need to remember the formula okay in simple formula basically what is that concentration is equal to mass by molar mass into volume in ml correct now we are let us speak in terms of acetic acid so now i'm going to talk about acetic acid so in acetic acid how much is the uh, this in concentration here mass of this you given 5 grams of acetic acid 5 grams how much is the molar mass 60 how much is the volume they said it is dissolved uh, 5 and uh, and making the volume equal to 500 ml they said so 500 when I solve this, I get an answer of 0 0.166 molar. Now, same thing, let me find for sodium acetate. So, similarly for sodium acetate. So, for sodium acetate, again the same thing, like mass by, okay, mass by, and did we multiply with 1000? We didn't multiply with 1000, I need to multiply with 1000 also, isn't it? 5 sorry 5 5 grams into 1000 okay same thing here mass by molar mass into volume in ml so ch3coona how much is the mass given 7.5 into 1000 divided by molar masses 82 into 500 now i get an answer 0 0.183 Okay, right. So now they asked, uh, like, uh, not for the buffer of this one. I need to find the pH, isn't it? So for the buffer of CH3COH, okay, minus, you have done salt of weak acid in weak base, and it's salt of weak base. So CH3COO and now pH is equal to Ka plus log of CH3COONA right this formula also we have studied CH3COH how much CH3COONA we have got we have got uh, uh, this one as okay let us start from here pH is equal to how much is pK which we got 4.76 into log how much is this 0 0.183 molar and for acetic acid it is we got 0 0.166 when i solve this i get an answer of 4.80 that means your 4.76 is very much less than ph is very much less than 5 this is what is the option means our answer lies at this option and answer lies in this option this option so the correct answer is this now let's come back and do one more question so in this question <coughs> let's do this very interesting question it is they've given us a 25 degree solubility product question basically so earlier the like we've done solubility product uh, formulas also let read let's read this this is your 2010 paper so here what do they give us solubility product at 25 degrees the solubility product of magnesium hydroxide is 1 10 is of minus 11 at which ph will magnesium ions start precipitating in the form of magnesium hydroxide from a solution of 0 0.01 molar magnesium mg plus 2 ions okay at which concentration at which ph i have to find i need to find this ph so as soon as such question is given to me i said try to write the equation and what is this magnesium hydroxide breaks up into mg plus 2 plus 2 oh minus so now the solubility product formula ksp is equal to magnesium plus 2 and oh minus over 2 oh minus so i need to find for this isn't it okay let us take this out so oh minus is equal to square root of ksp 
divided by mg plus 2 ion. How much is this equal to? This is equal to 10 raised to the of minus 4. Right? Done. So, uh, now uh, I should uh, find for POH also. Okay, let us write this. POH is equal to 4. And what did I get? PH is equal to 10. Isn't it? Let us uh, see this. POH is equal to 4 and pH is equal to 10. So, what pH this said? B is correct option. Yes, because they have asked me to find uh, the concentration. Okay, I did it. Yes, it's right now. pH in the form of a magnesium hydroxide for the solution 0 0.01. Right, this is the answer. Let us do the eighth question now. So, in the eighth question, what did they give me? They have uh, given me values of dissociation constant K is given as follows. They have given this uh, values. Now, this particular question uh, is given in JE online 2013. They have given values for acid and they have given their Ka values, acid dissociation constant values, right. So, now, uh, the correct order of the basic strength of the base Cn minus, F minus and NO2 minus will be. They have given us option A, option B, option C and option D. I need to find the correct order of the basic strength. So, you have such questions uh, based in like uh, for you in uh, this one also in organic chemistry find the order increasing order decreasing order and all this. So, when such question is given to you let us uh, learn one important thing. What is that? Uh, uh, first of all acidic strength we already know this base I will speak in terms of this one then come back to that. Acidic strength is directly related to Ka value. This is understood. Yes. Now, on the basis of K, on the basis of K, if I have to take, the order of acidic strength would be K HCN less than HNO2 with this basis because if I see the readings, right, directly related I said. So, HNO2 has uh, so HCN uh, less than this, then uh, HNO2, yes, then comes HF. This is a concept. Now, conjugate base of a strong acid is weak. This is what we have studied in constant lowry concept also. What have we learned? We have learned conjugate base of a strong acid. Strong acid is what? It is weak. Now, what if I have to write the order now? Yes, conjugate uh, base of the weak acid. So, this becomes F minus less than you know 2 minus less than C and minus. This is the option which you get. So, the correct answer is F minus uh, F minus less than you know 2 less than C and minus. So, this is a concept. Yes, if you have not understood this concept, I did uh, 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 the sun in the formulas um, uh, Arrhenius uh, concept, Lewis acid concept, bronsted lowry concept. Watch that please. Yes, let's come back and do the ninth question. Now, in the ninth question, what did they give me? This is again JE Online 2013 question. So, they've given us the reaction A plus 2B gives 2C plus 2D. Okay, so 2B, 2C plus D. I think, I think uh, I've done this question already. So, let us take this question out and come back to because the same question is repeated in another lesson also. Let's do this. Right. In the tenth question. Uh, tenth question, what did they give me? Now, the KSP again a solubility product is a solubility product question is given to us. So, now solubility of uh, chromium OH taken thrice. They have given us chromium complex solubility is 1.6 into 10 is power of minus 30. Okay, right. And then the molar, molar solubility of their compound uh, in water. What is the molar uh, solubility of the compound in water? They have given us A, B, C, D options. Right. <laughs> Now, let us see for uh, this one. <laughs> this is um, the, uh, chromium and calcium, calcium hydroxide. Let us see the solution for this. I need to find the molar solubility of the compound. Okay, let's me, let me see whether I can do it like this. So, calcium hydroxide solid, it dissociates when you dissolve in water into. No, this is chromium only, I am sorry, because then only plus 3, no, I am I'm sorry, this is here plus 3, aqueous, I am really sorry for that, plus 
थ्री ओ एच माइनस एक्वस ओके सॉरी टू कन्फ्यूज यू ऑल राइट ना दिस इज दिस मतलब सॉलिबिलिटी डिनोटेड बाई एस दिस इज ऑल्सो एस दिस इज थ्री एस ना के एस पी इज इक्वल टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सी आर प्लस थ्री ओ एच माइनस टेक इन थ्राइस नो राइट इन टर्म्स ऑफ दैट हाउ मच इज के एस पी गिवेन टू यू इट इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन डेज पर एफ माइनस थर्टी विच इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच इज क्रोमियम दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस दिस इज एस इज इन डेट एस दिस इज थ्री एस होल क्यूब सो दिस बिकम्स वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन डेज पर एफ माइनस थर्टी क्यूब ओके ट्वेंटी सेवन एस इज पर फोर This is four. Done. Now s uh, per of four, s four is equal to one point six hundred ten s per of minus thirty by twenty seven. This is equal to this becomes four root one point six into ten s per of minus thirty by by twenty seven minus thirty by twenty seven. So this is the thing. So we are on this one. Four into one point six into ten days per of minus thirty by twenty seven. This is the correct option.